you. I am Dave Hill. Thank you. Tonight's founder has a startup called Cannabis Wire. This one's pretty much going to write itself. Let's get started. For those of you maybe watching for the first time, listen up. This is how the game works. We're going to bring our contestants out, one of whom happens to be the real founder of a startup company. The other two are just lying liars. Our panelists are gonna grill them with questions and be like, well, what was that other thing? And they're like, oh, well, actually, huh? And then the panelists are gonna decide who they think the real uh, founder is, and then, then we will have found the founder. It's basically how it works. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's meet the panelists. She's a director, an actress, and so much more. You've seen her in the hit movie, Apartment Troubles, along with Megan Mullally and Will Forte. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for actor and filmmaker, <laughs> Jennifer Prediger. Jennifer. I was just kidding. I knew the name all Dave, along. Dave, I knew it. I knew it all you along. I knew it. Up next, she's a hilarious stand-up comedian. She's a writer on the hit television show, Broad City, on Comedy Central, Naomi Ekparrigan. Thank you for joining us. And finally, featured in the film, Adult Beginners, Mr. Greg Johnson. Thank you, Dave. Oh, man. Loved you in uh, Adult Beginners. Thank you. Yeah. That was, uh... I had the first line in the film. What was the line? Uh, it said, you're going to kill it. Oh, we are right there. We, we, you took me <laughs> to the film. And now, I'd like you to meet the founder. Come on out. Hi, I'm Allison Martin. My name is Allison Martin. Hey, I'm Allison Martin. Panelists. Pay close attention. This is the biography of founder Allison Martin. I am Allison Martin. I am an award-winning journalist, a photographer, and an editor. I focus on investigative journalism, health reporting, and drug policy. My work has been published by the New York Times, The Nation, and The Atlantic, among others. My startup is Cannabis Wire, a nonpartisan multimedia news site about a global issue cannabis. I take cannab cannabis seriously, and so should you. I know Greg does. Let's... <laughs> I've never even seen it, Dave. <laughs> He's a Sorry, drug addict. <laughs> no. <laughs> Greg, why don't we start with you, since uh, this seems right up your alley. Allison, number one, how long have you been smoking marijuana? Well, I'm 30, so 30 years. All right, that's enough. Allison, number two, uh, when did you found the company? Around uh, seven years ago is when we first started writing our book together, me and my partner. All right. Allison, number three, why do you think it's good to bring positive aspects of marijuana to the general public that may not be familiar with it? Uh, well, I think there's a lot of fear-mongering about the issue. Um, and I think Certainly. One more question for uh, Allison, number one. Do you smoke pot? Every day? Or... All right. And what's the name of your book again? I th it's a new leaf. Okay. Yeah, and uh, why is it important to tell this story? Because it's a, it's a story that's not being told as often as me and my co-founder would like. All right, great. I feel like I have more time, but no, I, I don't even need time, it. Greg! Because that's how good Naomi. I am to find the founder. Give yourselves a round of applause, please, studio audience. And a round Go. of applause for my two other panelists, because they're great. Really could do with less of that, Greg. <laughs> he needs more marijuana. <laughs> I, I, I've never even <laughs> seen marijuana. Oh, boy. <laughs> Naomi. Game on. Allison number two, you wrote a book, A New Leaf. Why do you need to do Cannabis Wire? Why? <laughs> so basically when we were working on the book, we were learning so much as we were working on it and we were done. Since it's been published, like four more states have legalized marijuana and things are still changing, so we want to just keep covering it. Keep your finger on the pulse. I dig it. <laughs> Allie number three, can I call you Allie? You can call me Allie. Great. That was my question. <laughs> Allison number <laughs> one. Good. <laughs> That's Does good. cannabis wire cover marijuana usage or legalization? Uh, legalization, more policy based, I think. So it's not about how I should start smoking or what to you. I think most people can figure out how to smoke. It's more about uh, the <laughs> laws. Yourself. Allison number two. <laughs> yeah. What kind of advertiser is going to come onto cannabis wire? Actually, um, more people than you would expect because the the stigma is going away a little bit. So we we really think that we can get some actual companies, plus cannabis related companies and others. All about them dollar dollars. I like it. 
I know I have more time, but I'm done. Hard hitting. Hard to follow. Jenny, see if you can follow that. All right, okay, <laughs> number one. What do you got in terms of the states that allow marijuana usage? Wh where is it legal? You're talking about medical or social slash medical. adult? I'm talking about medical. Uh, it's well over 20 states now. And how many recreational? Uh, it's four in D.C. And don't you think people are lying when they say it's medical? Like, Some might be, I you think. think. Okay. Yeah. Number two, how can people take marijuana seriously if the, the logos and the graphic design is so silly? It's like all those big pot leaves and the rasta mon. I, this has this troubled me for a while. That's like also one of the things we're trying to do with the branding of Cannabis Wire is to like avoid that and be a little more corporate and a little more serious. And we're not, we don't have like rainbow tie-dye stuff. Who are you stuff. aping? Who are you, who are you copying? Like Newswire? What, who's your... <laughs> I your... think we're, we're putting our own spin on just any, any other news states. We're not looking at like headshots for inspiration. We're looking at like Reuters. <laughs> Congratulations. Okay, number three. How do you feel about oils? Uh, what, like, what's the future of marijuana smoking? Like, vaping, what, what do you got? Great question. Yeah, love, love to vape. I think we're going to see a lot of innovation, uh, a lot of kinds of new products. We're already seeing a lot of new products, and so I think uh, this what's is just the beginning. What's your favorite new product? My, well, my favorite, because it's just weird, is I saw, like, a, like a hair oil that mm. had what? cannabis. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> no. Hi. Hair it doesn't make sense. Volumizing. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, make sense. I'm listening. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, Naomi, where's your head at? What, what's going on? What, what, who are you thinking so far? Uh, right now it's anybody's game. That's right, Greg Johnson. As a champion of this game, I'm very confident in my answer and, you know, I know who <laughs> the founder of this company is and I might try to, you know, uh, maybe hook up with them later. I mean, not hook up, but like, you know, hang out, maybe hang, you know, they seem, uh, the founders. Uh, uh, smoke up. Maybe can I do that up. again? Maybe Wait. smoke up with them. <laughs> when did you become an old time detective? <laughs> Jenny, they break it all, down for us. Yeah, they're clearly all stoners. You can tell. Two of them right now are stoned. I'm guessing one with edibles, another with a what's that thing with the blowtorch? I don't know. But um, but I feel confident. I, I I have a good hunch. I have a hunch. It's time to vote, panelists. Get out your markers. Get set. Go. Don't look so confident, Greg. This is the part where I always freak out. I get really nervous. All right, let's see how our panelists voted. Naomi, let's start with you. I'm gonna tell you my stomach is in knots, but it's Allison number two. Jenny. I have to say number two. <laughs> Greg Johnson. Greg, you know, by the I... way, adult beginners. You were great in that. Thank you, I have a lot of adult beginners fans here my one line in that film. You know, Dave, thank you very much. I am a champion at this game. So a champion always appreciates a challenge, and these three women have provided challenges. Like I said, I think the two imposters will be future Oscar and or Glow the Globe winners. However, what, what I do. What kind of globe? What kind of? <laughs> Real Allison is Allison number three, everybody. Thanks, Dave. Right back everybody, at you. Everybody, thank Dave, everybody. All right. Now let's see if any of you guys are correct. Will the real Allison Martin please stand up? <gasps> no way! Number, number two, who are you really? Uh, my name is Chloe Efron, and I'm a graphic designer, and I live in Brooklyn. <laughs> and now you, fake Allison number three. My real name is Pippi Kessler, and I'm now that a... now, now you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> it's my real name. Okay. And what do you do? I am an independent organizational development consultant. Um, do you get high doing that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Greg. <laughs> Today I do. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, real Allison Martin. What's going on with uh, your startup now? What are you most excited about doing next? I'm uh, very besides? excited to, yes, I'm very excited to close this uh, round of investment. It's very stressful, and I'm excited to uh, be back to what I do, journalism, writing stories and hitting it out of the park as best I can. That's the stuff. <laughs> All right, well, we are just about out of time. <laughs> I want to give a big thanks to co-founder of Cannabis Wire, the real Allison Martin. Of course, I want to thank our panelists, Jenny, Naomi, and to a le lesser extent, Craig Johnson. If you like this show, please tell your friends and come on back for some more Find the Facts.
founder! Woo! Yeah, give yourselves a hand. Did you meet 